Hey guys and gals on YouTube, how y'all doing? <clears throat> Dave Boyd here, and I only went out and managed to pick up some of the mail, and there was a lot more mail here than I expected. There's a lot of these little non-trackables, so I'm thinking there's probably a lot of those little small items I've been looking for for the Lego world. So here we go, we got an old, um, Lord is my shepherd, it's an old, I guess you'd call it advertising knives. This particular one is made by Utica out of New York is probably from the 1940s or possibly early of 50s. They were quite common at one time. Uh, sometimes they'd say things like Ford or Chevrolet. Okay, this is not exactly what I thought it would be, but it's cool to get because I have an idea, which I'll probably not do another video tonight for it. Maybe, maybe not. It's a black skeleton. It could double as a figure for uh, Star Wars, maybe for, uh, I don't know. Uncle Lars, perhaps, maybe, for the uh, episode four. Sorry. Anyways, that's a long-awaited Lego set we'll probably never see. But, uh, you know. Ant fur, and uh, look, somebody use eBay branded tape on this. And we've got a horse skeleton. So we're going to probably see a lot of my purchases and negotiations toward a skeleton army. Why am I doing a skeleton army? I'm not. I'm just, it's something different because um, sometimes it gets tiresome to do the same army over and over. And I'm building Lego collections, Lego bricks, for built mock building, and ultimately for doing some pretty big stuff, I'm hoping. So, while that's going on, while I'm waiting for stuff, a lot of times I get other minifigs, and we don't have a minifig store here. We don't have a Lego store here, actually, other than the grocery stores. So as a result, um, hmm, I've been kind of building an army, and I thought, you know what, let's try some zombie armies, and I am going to try that. We got four long bones here. I thought these might be fun as um, weapons for basic skeleton troops. I don't know. The idea may prove to be mm, a flash of the pan, shall we say, back in my black powder hobby days. Oh, hey, and here we are. Is that it? I paid all that shipping for, yep, jeez, two of the slopes in dark orange. So this is very important for our Genosius Monks building the background for rocks. It's been a slow process. I want to get to the point where I can now have a box just for keeping, um, just for keeping the dark orange in. Let's see how this would look. Okay, this guy's got bent arms. It looks like he's got droid arms. Huh, maybe he can lift weights. What do you think? You want to have him lifting a barbell? Watch him break one of these arms. That would be really annoying, wouldn't it? But not surprising. Not completely surprising. Yeah, look at that. There he is. What do you think? This is a round-eyed skeleton. Hey, what do you think? Uh, round-eyed, is it better or better to use the angry ones? I think the possessed eyes or whatever you call it from Lego is a good choice for army building, but... The round eyes guys are such a traditional skeleton. Maybe I'll just, uh, if this was like a tabletop game, we'd call it like a bullet mold or bullet uh, absorber. Oh, and here's some more dark orange. And this guy also only had two of these. I've never actually seen this piece before in dark orange. I don't think it's particularly uncommon, but I'm not sure. I, I don't know if it could be used flat wise for some, some something or if it's a waste of time. But just for background, with the sheer amount of dark orange we're gonna need, I think it's a good idea to just go ahead and bring this stuff in. Uh, oh, and this is not dark orange. These are, is that the right size? Yeah, these are the small light gray, obviously, radar dishes. I need one for my 2009 set 8018 AAT from CIS, for a CIS one, I believe is where I got that for. This box is crushed. I always like to see that, don't you? It makes you feel kind of nervous, Sandy, you know, because it goes from that feeling like, oh my goodness, it's still here, to oh my goodness, maybe it's broken. No, I doubt very much it's anything breakable. 
You know, and they packed it really well, too. Okay, these are Lego Castle Era Skeletons. Okay, you remember... Uh, what, my phone just moved? I guess so. It's a ghost. Um, I mentioned the angry eyes or the possessed eyes. And this has got, like, Ninjago arms. Anyways, anyways. Here we are. That's what we're talking about. So, he would probably look better on a horse mounted, I think. Let's see. I mean, he's got a cape, though. I don't know. I'm not sure. The, the skeletons, to me, look a little bit awkward standing upright. I mean, there's, there's no saddle. I don't know. Maybe I'll try placing a saddle on one of these skeleton horses and see how it goes. This, I hope, is not a Lego box wrapped in paper. But if it is, you can share with me the... Uh, I'm sure it's not because what kind of person would do that? I mean, seriously. I mean, if you've been here watching these unboxings long enough, you'll know it's happened. But no, it's, thankfully it is not. It is someone using a priority mailbox and not want to pay the priority rates so they wrap it with brown paper and look how crushed this box is yikes but let's find out this little knife is quite sharp sharp enough to cut me but not sharp to really do a safe job of cutting oh hey okay sharpness test coming up mm, not very sharp okay what we got here Oh, is this what I think it is? It, it, it is. It is what I think it is. And believe me, because this is what I've paid priority shipping for this. This is, well, this is a vintage set from me childhood. I still have one in my mom bought me, but that's not important. What's important is having something new. No. Um, what's important is this one is going to be complete. My childhood one is a seen better days. All of my instructions are in better shape. Yikes! Oh, the instructions are not quite all there, but we know what this is. It's called Knight's Procession. And maybe I'll leave that in here, actually. Second thought. Um, Knight's Procession is a 19... 1980 set maybe anyways it's got knights for walking pulling a cart with this kind of good I'll, I'll do a review on this but anyways their livery is this uh the shield color and, and there's a funny story about this great youtube channel where a dude did a, a coverage about how it's kind of spooky but even as a kid but as a child i didn't know the backstory but i did know a little bit about the crusades because my mom and dad collected antiques and had access to all these grisly books. Which, of course, you know, I'm supposed to read those. You tell a kid you can't read something or you can't touch something. What do they do? They literally run to that place to go check it out. Because they know they're not supposed to. And hey, let's face it. I was a little, I was kind of a little bit of a kid. I was didn't have a lot of friends. And I, I liked the stories of the books. And especially books that are forbidden. Okay, this appears to be a damaged box. It does have an air pack, or it did have. Okay, this is an open one. Yep. Ah, it's got low bot. Low bot. It's got instructions. It's, uh, they tore it open in a normal way. It is the Twin Cloud Car 7119 with some pretty cool builds on the back. I kind of like the droid build one. That's kind of cool. But yeah, this is a cloud car, which goes, of course, not really, but could go with the 2003 Cloud City. Now, what is in this box? I'm actually not sure, because that is that box. So what is in this box? But what's really cool is this is almost all actually Lego unboxing, which is kind of cool, because... Those have become kind of rare just lately. And oh my goodness. Okay, be very careful with this one. This is um, the same set, actually, but sealed. Here. 
thumbnail, like the, like from back in 2017, you know, standard YouTube. But seriously though, um, tape seals are intact, it's glued. It's got a price of $4.98, down from $9.99. So that's back when they, I remember the days when I used to be able to, not just buy Lego sets, mind you, but get them on clearance. I mean, I haven't seen a good clearance for Lego for a long time. So, thoughts on the skeleton army? I will do a better video on what should we do with mounting skeletons. I almost wonder, okay, it's gonna be kind of gross. I just rip his legs off. And I'm almost wondering if maybe putting studs, um, yeah, you know those the little gray, uh, the gray studs like go on the back of the uh, of the droid nowadays, this thing. Hey, let's just let's just take a second. Oh uh, man, it won't, oh yeah, it kind of fits. Here we are. Just just get an idea, you know. Is this better? What do you think? Do away with his legs. <laughs> Honestly, give me a thought. Is that is that an improvement or is that just is it just weird and creepy? I mean, you want to be weird and creepy, you can hold one of his own bikes. No, I'm not going to do that, but. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. What, what do you think? Is that is it going to work? I kind of like that. I kind of like the fact that he's down low in the horsey. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I like that. But it, it looks better than him standing in that spot on the horse. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Anyways, I've been talking way too much. Let's stop playing with plastic toys for now appreciate the views out there the great community let me know down below what you guys are doing you guys and gals if you're messing with this stuff trying different army stuff just to you know keep the creativity going or just keep from going bored and like oh my goodness i can't take this anymore anyways really appreciate the views out there y'all take care be safe till next time ciao